Jane, and I'm here to talk to you today about Colston Charity Day for Great Women's Shoe Hospital. I went to the school council and asked them if I could have Great Women's Shoe as a charity because I have a very different reason about it all. Well, when I was little, uh, my parents took me to South Bend Hospital because I had trouble breathing. They put me in a special contraption which moved, stopped my head from moving so it would help me breathe. And then from there they didn't know what else to do, so they transferred me to Great Women's Street Hospital. I saw Professor Jay Harper, who was one of the main professors there. He and all the other consultants couldn't figure out what was wrong with me, so they made me have an MRI scan. Again, they diagnosed me with a hemangioma, which is basically a tumour that went up around my throat, around my palate, out of my nose and into my left eye socket. They thought an operation was too risky, that it could risk my life. So I was sedated with all these drugs and they were trying to figure out what they should actually do with me to prevent me from not being able to breathe because the hemangioma was strangling me. I kept going back to Great Women's Street until this happened, I think it started a few weeks when I was born, until I started junior school. And when I was my first day of junior school, when I went to leave infants, my hemangioma burst and obviously there was a lot of blood. My parents rushed me to Great Women's Street and they thought that I was going to die from blood loss when that wasn't the case. Their consultants there thought basically that if my hemangioma did burst, it would just go, but it didn't. It kept growing back. So from there, it burst an occasion of times. And as I got older, all the drugs that I was on, kind of because my body grew, my hemangioma stayed the same size. So by the time I'm this age, it's no longer visible and all the drugs that I was on kind of made it dormant as well, so it's hardly visible anymore. A long-term effect that I still have now is a lazy eye. As my hemangioma was pushing into my left eye socket, it caused my socket to move. So from then I had three operations to tweak all the muscles in my eye to try and get it straight and this is the best condition it can get in. I can't have any more operations, this is the best it's ever going to get. I was the first baby ever in the, probably the world to ever have this type of hemangioma. They all reckon that I wouldn't be able to get through the night some night, kind of, it was kind of really hard for my parents. And from now being 14 to living a normal life, just being fine from when I was little when my parents didn't even think I'd make it is quite an amazement. I want to break the school record. I've done two charity raffles, one Mother's Day raffle and one a Valentine's Day raffle. Altogether I've nearly raised over £100 and at the moment the teachers are holding a teachers auction and some thank you to all the teachers that have taken part and for the, fam the Mother's Day raffle uh, a local florist donated a huge bouquet which got lots of publicity for it and that was very thankful to her as well. There's going to be loads of events going on so listen up for them and just bring in as much spare change as you can. I know that in the sports hall one of the days leading up to the charity day the teachers are having a sumo off where they're going to be dressing up in the old sumo suits and basically wrestling each other so bring money to see that. To be honest, as I said, every little helps. It's all going to a good charity and just think you could actually be saving someone's life like someone has done for me. Hopefully we'll be able to break the record and if not, well, everything's going to go to a good cause. The Charity Day is going to be held next week on Friday the 11th of May, so please turn up and please come and do as much as you can and help me break the school record for Great Women Street Hospital. Thank you.